Welcome everyone and my name is Raul from the Digital Aztec and today I wanted to show you how to watch Netflix utilizing uh, Ubuntu 12.4. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to install Windows on a virtual box in Ubuntu 12.4. Sounds complicated but it's actually pretty simple. Now the first thing that you're going to have to that you're going to need is a copy of Windows XP, Windows 98, Windows 7, uh, and, and of course put it on your disk drive. Um, now there's going to be a few items that you're going to have to do before you'll be able to watch Netflix. Uh, there's going to be first of all, and let me just go through the steps. One, go to Firefox, and then type in. VirtualBox. Now make sure you, when you look at VirtualBox, it'll say VirtualBox.org. That's the VirtualBox that you need. Let's just click on it. To the left, it'll say Downloads. Click on Downloads, and it'll give you VirtualBox uh, platform packages. Download the VirtualBox 4.114 for Linux host. Click on that, and it's going to give you an option if you want to open it in your um, software center open it there it's a whole lot easier open it it'll install itself and then once you install the software you're gonna get something like this that's the virtual box now I already have two virtual boxes the Windows and the Ubuntu service center I mean the Ubuntu server but I'm gonna create a new one so I just click on new so just click on new click on next name it click on next the base memory I like to move it right there in the all the way to it reaches the end of the green click on next it'll say create new hard disk on the startup disk just click on next select uh, it's already going to be selected but just um, just make sure that VDI virtual box disk image selected next uh, fixed size dynamically allocated next uh, this will give you how big do you want that virtual box how much um, how much space do you want on that hard drive I just leave it at 10 just because it's enough for me to install Netflix and maybe some other some other software but other than that I won't use it so click on next Click on create. Now it's going to say summary, create again, and it's already created the um, the virtual box. Now we're going to install the software on the virtual box. So all you do is double click on Windows, Windows XP, OK it, go to next. And the next, it's going to read your uh, your DVD uh, drive, or if you have a an ISO or a, operating system somewhere else like sometimes when I install Linux I, I use the folders but for now you you put your drive there so all you have to do is click on next and from there we just click on start and this will take care of the okay it is working okay it is setting up Windows so pretty much just it'll walk you through setting up Windows uh, the other thing before you can watch Netflix is that you're gonna have to install the service pack 2 so just type service pack 2 on your browser in Windows and install the service pack well make sure that the service pack 2 that you're downloading to install is for Microsoft if you don't do that you're gonna get a lot of junk you're gonna get a lot of um, you know malware and stuff so just make sure that when you're downloading service well as a matter of fact you're when you go in Windows and you're installing it of course type service pack 2 and make sure for example this one says Windows Microsoft.com US Windows so this is Microsoft this is Microsoft too but make sure that it says Microsoft because some of them like USA Autodesk.com servlet or Arctic Technica. Uh, you know you're gonna have those don't click on those because again it's gonna have malware so make sure that you're downloading it from from Microsoft when you load it um, you install it then just 
go to the Netflix page, open your account, click on one of the movies, then it's going to require that, that uh, Silverlight program. Install Silverlight, it'll actually walk you through the steps. Then after that, in a few seconds, you'll be able to watch your movie. If you skip one of these steps, what's going to happen is when you click on your browser on Netflix and you try to install Silverlight, if it doesn't have the Service Pack 2 uh, software, what it's going to do, it's going to reject Silverlight and it's going to say that there was an error and you need to install some higher security uh, parameters in, in the technology. So if you follow those steps, you should be able to view Netflix and it's as simple as just going once you, you install um, Windows in your system, it's as simple as just clicking on your Windows page. I have it where I switch it so it has the full screen and I have the full area to watch my movies. Oh, I have a CD. Let me take the CD out. Okay. So now I have the full screen. It's loading Windows. There's a, the Windows music, and I just go in there, click on my Firefox. I prefer the Firefox. Um, in, uh, Explorer doesn't work very well for me, so I just leave it there. So just type Netflix, and from there you'll be able to watch your movie. So I hope this video helped out. Um, and another thing is, if you need any, any assistance or any suggestions, please uh, email us. Uh, our, our addresses are there, our website, our uh, Facebook, our Twitter are all there. So again, if you have any suggestions, any questions, please forward it to us and we'll, we'll do the research for you and you have a great day. Thanks.